Do I still have Strigar's higher binding? Yeah, I do. And while I've got that out, I suppose I can make a... Um... Well, the stable wormhole is as is Zivius as spectral compulsion, where you can access the dimensional matrix from somewhere else. I suppose we can do for that later. I've got tier one storage, dimensional storage stabilizers. The higher the tier, the more additional storage, so it expands the storage matrix. But what exactly is this here? There's a whole multi-block involved. And this, well, we got this as a reward, but I suppose this is how you would um, make one. Ah, uh, but the second one, the one for the second level requires the one from the first level. The third requires a different pentacle, another star which I can get. And the last one which has a quest attached to it, oh my goodness. Okay, that's a lot of Inesia, I'm going to have to do that off screen. And I'm going to have to take one of my dragon heads. I am so glad I got one of those. I, I got three of these actually, one from the dragon, one from the end city, and one from a dungeon. I suppose I can stand apart with, wait, what's this? A married? An effort? We haven't tried summoning those yet. Well, as long as I have Strigir's higher binding, I can take care of the stuff that you use, um, that you make with it. Starting with the tier one dimensional storage stabilizer. You can make a tier 2, and I'm going to eventually need a tier 4. Boy, I'm glad I got some glit gas tiers. This away while I'm thinking about it. This two. And this three. That was the rest of the stuff I needed. Oh, two spirit attuned gems. I got five. And a genie book. Oh, and that reminds me I gotta hunt for squids. Guest here. Oh, I got a second soul gem. I suppose I could always use more of them. Just in case. Oh, and the block of silver. I keep forgetting I had silver dust and I need to smelt it yet. So there's the block of silver, and of course, the preceding stabilizer. Do I need to sacrifice anything? I need to start this ritual and, uh, no. Okay. And while that's running, storage accessor.
Oh, it needs a whole tablet full of it. And what was the rest of it? Some stone buttons and some gold. Well, that's not exactly hard to... All this ritual is running, I'm going to... I get the feeling it's going to take a while. So I'll go there, of course, the man is like... I guess the right amount here would just be enough. I need to keep after popping back here and... Yeah, that should make a good supply of other stone. Some stone buttons. Three units of gold. There we are. Then two hundred pearls and a quartz. Well, I can get the quartz here. And the ender pearls there. And you need a genie book. Um she was gonna need to grab some cactus, which I I do have some. Just have to smelt it. And it's still going. It hasn't finished yet. Oh wait, I already have some, but it's my last. Did I forget anything? Almost, my purified ink. Okay, and bind that. Alright, so now the only thing I gotta do is uh, wait for this ritual to finish. Immediately get started on the next one. Wait a minute. And there's the second tier. So while I've got, while I'm thinking about this, I will. I need to sacrifice it. No, I don't. Okay. Now let me check the quests. Genie machine operator. But that's a different uh, ritual. And what about some of these others? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how you do this. Oh, here's another one. Oh, but it needs another block of I need. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to find a lot more of this stuff. 
And I'm gonna have to find it off screen too, cause... Well, I guess it's not as bad as it was now that I know how to uh, use the divining rod and how to clear uh, and how to register with it the fact that um, I already found and and took out the uh, the block of Inesium I was going for. And the second block wasn't too far away from the first. I guess I ought to count my blessings. Um, it's as if is calling, never mind. Well, this is almost finished. So we'll grab some... Grab some more Anesium, like a lot more, I guess. I'll... in the middle of something. I don't know. I should have put up a fence around this place. the most attractive way but I don't but I guess I don't have much of a choice now do I
Well, there it is. And I guess I'll be back here after I've mined, mined up some more Enesium. But until... But I'll take care of that So one of the later. things I haven't done yet is summoned an, an Afrit. Um, in order to do that, though, I'm going to need... Well, I'm going to need red chalk. So I think I'm going to need red chalk. And to get red chalk, you need Afrit Essence. So how do you summon an Afrit without summoning an Afrit? Well, you summon an unbound Afrit, and, uh, well, that's going to get kind of dangerous. But fortunately, I've prepared. First off... I'm going to use another pentacle location way out here, um, far away from my base. Now I need Abras's open conjecture, uh, conjure, sorry, conjure, and when summoning an, oh, you have to bind the effort book and then when you um, when you do the summoning ritual with that with this particular magic circle, the afrit won't be bound. Okay, well that's a little bit confusing, but uh, I suppose it makes sense. Okay, let this go. Hmm, that's a lot. What if I were to put it here? Well, the problem is... Wait, wait. There. Okay, so now you can see what the thing's supposed to look like. I was... I didn't know you could do that. At least not at first. Hmm. I'm running all on plain chalk, but plain chalk isn't exactly difficult to make. Also, I've looked ahead. Some of these, um, some of these pentacles are, they're kind of, they're kind of complicated. No easy, no easy task to draw, and they're much larger, too. In fact, I think the ones I look, uh, one of them is bigger than, um, than that little pier I built out for pentacles. And that's another reason to have a secondary location. Okay, let's see. Skull. Skull. And now I'm using wither skeleton skulls. And last, let's not forget the candles. Done. Okay, now for the things you have to sacrifice. Uh, the thing, things you um, you need to have in the bowls. You have to sacrifice a cow, and I managed to chase one down in this soul gem. Let me put the back in here. I use the looting sword to kill this cow. That way, I'll get the most out of it. Um, okay, let's put the cow there. Yeah, these cows tend to run. I don't think they're all that easy to one-shot either. Speaking of shooting... Uh, the last thing I need are... Uh, other monsters interfering in my, um, in this punch out that's gonna happen. I might as well use the looting for, sword for this too. Uh, I better have my bow just in case I got some arrows here. Well, I'm kind of holding my breath now. Oh boy. 
Okay, so the effort's not the only thing here. And now I can't move. 